This is Dennis McMahon and welcome to Positively Vermont. And today we are going to be speaking with Elizabeth Boudreau uh, of the uh, Vermont Handcrafters uh, and who is going to be telling us all about a very exciting event uh, and a very historical event uh, coming up in the very near future. And that is the Craft Vermont exhibition. And this is going to be the 68th time that this exhibition uh, of arts and crafts and all kinds of wonderful visual things is going to be held in our state. Uh, welcome, uh, Elizabeth, to uh, Positively Vermont. Well, hi. I'm really pleased to be joining you today. It's exciting. It is, and we're, we're pleased to have you. And uh, we're going to publish the website, but it, 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 there's a lot of very exciting uh, stuff uh, that's going to be going on. Uh, at this event, but uh, for, which is happening later this month. But first of all, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am, um, I live up in East Berkshire, Vermont. Um, I'm an artist also. Um, I'm a mother of three and six grandchildren. <laughs> so that kind of covers my very busy schedule. I've been the director of events for Vermont Handcrafters for the last, um, 17 years. I joined the organization as an artist in 2002. And then in 2003, their um, director, their show director stepped down and um, I was approached about being their um, director of events. And so I took the job and it's been great. I love it. It's perfect. It was made for me. That's important. Tell us about your particular genre. What do you work in? Um, I'm a painter and a design, I do botanical, well, I started as an oil painter and um, as my family grew and got busy, I couldn't leave the paint, I couldn't leave the paint out. So, and you, you know, you, it isn't, so then I decided I had to do something else. So I then went into making rugs and quilts and that didn't, I liked it, but not that much. And then I started doing floral designs. A lot of the things I grew and then um, they almost looked, whew, they were, they were, uh, I, I loved them. And uh, that's what I juried in for in Vermont Handcrafters, floral designs, wreaths and things like that. That's great. Well, tell us a little bit about Vermont Handcrafters itself. How did it get started? Uh, maybe give us a little bit of the history and maybe even mention some uh, people who have uh, gone uh, into uh, the uh, bigger art world, so to speak, uh, from participating in Vermont Handcrafters. Okay, well, Vermont Handcrafters started based in 1951 down in the Barry Montpelier area by two women who were, you know, were crafters and um, just felt there needed to be a show of some type. And it's kind of started as an exhibition. And then from there in 1955, it got incorporated to Vermont Handcrafters Inc. And um, they started having shows. And they had a couple shows a year, uh, Manchester, the Barry area, the, um, I think the Montpelier, um, no, the Barry Auditorium, really, where there's still a show. Um, and then it moved up to Burlington and it went to Memorial Auditorium in, in Burlington. And it was there for a long time and then, um, Matter, can you imagine when it first started, there was only one checkout. So you would pick up your item, you would get your item, and then you would go to the checkout at the front of the auditorium. <laughs> can you imagine that? That's like the old days. Um, and I used to go to it there. I used to go with my mother and my aunt. We used to go, and I can remember saying, someday I'm going to be a Vermont handcrafters. So that was exciting. And then um, it moved to what was then in the 90s, 1990, um, it moved up to the Sheraton, which is now the Doubletree, right off the exit in Burlington. And it's been there since, we. it's been held there since 1990. This will be um, only the second year ever that it, well, this is, this, yeah, I'm going to say, in all the years that it has started, only one year they didn't have the show. I think they regrouped before the 90s. And then 
of course, this year it's online. It won't be an in-person show. So, and over the years, we've had some great, great artists who've gone on to be, have big companies. Um, uh, Fred and Judai Danforth, they, they were, they started, who has now Danforth Pewters. They were members and they remain members until they retired just last year or the year before. Complete, you know, Danforth is still in business, but they have retired from the business. So, um, and then um, Mark Baker, who Vermont Flannels, he was a member. Woody Jackson is still a member and um, he won't be participating in this show itself online, but you can still find him at our website. He got the in-person shows he's at every year. So, you know, we've had a lot. Um, also, House Mouse, I'm sure a lot of your viewers remember House Mouse. They, they were at our show forever, for years. So um, they started small and with Vermont Handcrafters also. Tell us, uh, it says it's the oldest and largest jury craft organization in Vermont. Yes, it is. Tell us what jury means. Well, jury is, um, in order to become a member, you have to, you apply and then you have your work is seen by, uh, a group of artists who have expertise in different fields um, and their members also. And um, they look at, you know, the quality of the work, you know, design aspect, you know, the finished product. Um, and, you know, then they, if it meets our standards, we have, you know, we're inclusive, we're not exclusive, but we do have standards. You know, when you buy something from Vermont Handcrafters, you know, from one of our shows or our members, you know that it's a quality piece of work. So that's what juried is. Well, before I forget, we have to say when this is gonna happen and that's gonna be November 21st and November 22nd online, running from nine in the morning to nine at night. And uh, tell yes. us what the experience is gonna be like for that. Tell, tell, first of all, okay. maybe, maybe, maybe you can give us some insight. And again, we had the pandemic this would normally be live. How did you, uh, how did you get from uh, planning to run a, a physical on-site show to going online for the first time in history? Tell us well, a about that. I know it's like watching sausage being made, but just give us a little <laughs> idea. Well, you can imagine once we realized that we were not going to be able to have an online show, I mean, uh, online, now I'm so caught up in online. <laughs> we weren't going to be able to have an in-person show at the Double Tree. We began to, to scramble and, and panic. For, uh, we have over 200, we have about 200 members at this point. And, you know, many of them participated in that show. So we needed to find a way to have at least some sort of a show. So um, we found, we went on, we figured this out and now we're gonna do an, on, this will be actually our third online show. We did a little small test show in August. And then in October, we did a little longer test show so people could get used to it. And now we're gonna, we're now we're doing our two day show and it works really well. And I'm very pleased. Of course, it's not the same, but I'll kind of, you know, as being in person, but it's good. Um, and almost everybody that's attended has enjoyed it. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about it, but if you will bear with me, I kind of have to read it because <laughs> it's so new to me. No problem. So, it, um, so first you want to go to our website to join, which is Vermont, www.vermonthandcrafters.com. And then you can register, you can go now and register for that, sh for the show. Um, there's a little thing that says register here. And once you go there, um, uh, if you pre-register, you're going to get on Saturday, you'll get a notice. And so that it's happening. And then you just click on that and you'll, it'll take you right to the show. So each member will have their own online booth and you can scroll down through all the booths and see if there's someone you like to see, or you can filter through by medium. Like if you want to just see jewelry, you can do that. But my suggestion would to be see everybody <laughs> as always. Each booth will have photographs of the artist and their work and a link to their website. 
You will be able to chat with the artist and ask them questions if you choose, because there will be um, text. You can do it by text or you can actually um, do it by video. You can go right in and talk to them. And I'm gonna tell everyone that um, a lot of our artists are missing that personal contact. So don't be afraid to chat with them. They are thrilled when somebody either video, either goes in through the chat room and chats or even texts them because they want to talk about their process and their work and, and a lot. Um, so don't be afraid to do it. <laughs> um, and there will be also a live stream through the whole show highlighting um, different artists. Um, we're going to have artists coming on and demonstrating live and or sh showing you their studio, some of their work. It's up to them what they want to do. And we have a, a, we have a full day full of that that's going to happen. And also in between those, we have um, just different videos, taped videos of artists doing work and things like that. Um, we also will have... Um, door prizes. At our show, we were known for fabulous door prizes. We always say it's our way of saying thank you to everybody um, for supporting Vermont Handcrafters for all these years, 68 years. Wow. Um, and uh, so anybody who registers um, to sign, well, you have to register. You're automatically registered when you come to the show. Um, is eligible to win a door prize. And what you'll get is a photograph of the door prizes that are available once you know, you're know you picked and you get to choose which door prize you like out of the photograph. That way everybody gets something special that they love. So that's how, that's how it's gonna work. You just go to Vermont Handcrafters. And if you go on Saturday or Sunday, you'll see a big button that says shop here. And you just push that and you'll take you right to the show. Wow. How many artists uh, are going to be participating? Well, at this point, we have about 55, but people are still signing up. So that's quite a, that's a good variety. And there is a large variety. It's going to be, it's going to be fabulous. <laughs> that's, that, that's really sounds exciting. Now, how are they doing that? Let's say uh, one like uh, Frog Hollow or someplace like that. Uh, yeah, how, do, uh, do you can have a little video, video presentation, or uh, how does it work with each artist? Uh, okay, or, now we're we're different than Frog Hollow. They're a like a gallery, and we're just we're an like an organization. We're a we're like a small business organization. So right. our members, um, yeah. So the artists are going to have just like we have their computers set up. Um, just like we're doing. It'll be like Zooming. Um, it's on a platform called StreamYard that we do it. So, um, but it's the same idea, just like what we're doing now. Will people who are attending be able to communicate with each other? Will there be any, I know when you have a Zoom meeting, there are participants listed and you can look people up, maybe the chat. Is there anything? Yes, yeah, that's definitely what you can do. You, um, there, there are chat rooms, they're called. So if you go to their, their booth, um, you just can, they'll have a button that says push here to chat and you just push the button and you can talk right with the artist. And, you know, most of the, a lot of the artists will be available to talk or chat with all throughout the show. Some may take breaks here and there because it's a long show, but you'll be able to see who's live and who isn't live. That's really something else. And uh, it's amazing. Uh, um, I, I went to a conference recently uh, ran by the Winston Churchill uh, Institute uh, uh, Foundation and, and they were doing it internationally and they had uh, in between the various lectures and various uh, seminars that were being held about Churchill's life in, in England and in here, uh, they had uh, little videos of, of uh, things. Is there be anything like that? Uh, little stories about what's going on that, that will play between the uh, and in that case, it was playing between the lectures. Yeah, there, throughout the whole two days, there's gonna be different videos of different people demonstrating, of different people talking, doing live. It, it, it's fun. I know at the other shows, some people just said, oh, it was so interesting just to watch the live screen of what was happening. 
And then also we'll short, so show different door prizes. So you can see some of the work and then you, if you like it, you can go right to their, that artist booth. Tell us about the door prizes. I believe you may have some of them there. Oh, I do have some of them here. So, well, let's see. This one is from Christine Pratt. This is a beautiful, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? It's a beautiful yeah. scarf. Fantastic. Oh, I know. I just love this. Wrap it right around yourself. That's great. That's great. <laughs> now, this is a door prize. Here's another um, door prize. This is a little felted purse, hand felted coins, things like that. And who oh, made those? Who made the, the, those? The, oh, sorry. This was made um, by uh, Kate Lutz. Positive pearls, pearls, pearls. And let me see. Oh, another. We have this is Arnica. It's um, a flower base um, sore. It's for sore muscles and joints. This is a whipped cream. Um, it's like a cream that's whipped and you put it on. It is great for arthritis. I use it. It is an age old tried and true natural therapy for bruises. That's the other thing. You can put it on a bruise and it, um, it takes the discoloring right away. So, and I have this like this, I have it in bath salts. Um, it's so fabulous. It's great. Let me see what else I have here. Oh, look at this. This is another, this is, can you see this? Yes. Yes, that, that is really clever. Jason Kenwood and his daughter make these all out of nuts and bolts and they're all soldered together. Isn't that fun? Fantastic. I have a, um, oh, this you is- showed us a big, big one before. Pardon? You showed us a big item before. Oh, that's, that's not a door prize. That is actually um, one of the artists that's gonna be here, but I'm gonna show you. This is some CP Metalworks. Isn't that beautiful? Fantastic. It's a tree of life. So these, this artist is going to be at the show. Don't miss them. Their work is great. They have the, a big pieces like this. They also have a welcome signs. They have spirit signs, you know, that say love and hope. They have dog. Um, they have little dog bone or ba ornaments. They have a, a variety of great things. Um, let me see what else I have here. Oh. This is a door prize. This is a Vermont specialty door prize. Wow. It's a whole box full of Vermont products. Wow, that's fantastic. From Green's Sugar House. Wow, that's it's nice. Holding Vermont. Can, look at this. Wow. It's got maple syrup. It's got their, their balsamic salad dressing, which is delicious. It's got buttermilk pancake mix, put your maple syrup on, and fresh Vermont blackberry jam. That's Isn't that good. great? Yeah. And that's a door prize, the taste of Vermont. Um, let me see what else we have here. Oh. Uh -huh. This is by Pika Works, which is Joan McKenzie, a beautiful moose. She does all kinds, it's a print. Um, she does all kinds of different animals. If you've been to the show, people often will see her, her work there. Oh, I also have Vermont Calendars by Jonathan Hart, which is a great Christmas present to send to someone who doesn't live here anymore. Let me get it out here. I have two of them, amazing Vermont Calendars. And this is by Jonathan, these, the photographs this is the barn one. Uh -huh. There's different barns, photographs of beautiful barns all throughout Vermont. And this is just a Vermont scene, all different Vermont scenes. And he does the wall calendars. He does the desk um, calendars. He does pocket calendars. So also makes it great. We have, um, we have these from um, Carol. This is Carol McClory. Oh, yeah. 
It's a beeswax candle. That's another door prize. Her husband, Steve, they are. Wow. Isn't yeah. this gorgeous? Very Aren't they nice? nice. Yeah. You want to make sure you see their work. Um, oh, some beautiful earrings. Daryl Stores, she's a printmaker. Mm -hmm. Aren't these oh, beautiful? Excellent. They're hand printed on paper and then she paints them. Uh, let me see what else I have here. Some other, oh. Um, here's another, this is a Vermont print. Oh, wow, that's really something. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see it good without yeah, okay. the glare? You're getting a little glare, but that's good. Yep, this is uh, the matted, let it snow, a beautiful deer, so Vermont. And she also donated cards. So you could also choose some of her, her, her cards. That is nice, oh, fantastic. Yeah. Um, and then this is a, a fused glass ornament. Oh yeah. With the holly berries, put it in your window. And I have, from Mita Strick, of uh, Mita Strick Studios. Oh, wow. Very nice. This is, this is a little angel, and it's um, carved and hand-painted, and um, she has uh, fun things. Oh, look at this. This is a lap blanket, hand-woven by, this is by the Woven Lamb, Sue Meshner. Very nice. Are these are just door prizes that people can get just for yes. registering? These are just door prizes. And I don't have even have them all. I mean, we I'm getting some every day. That's so very exciting. Now how, so, how, yeah. how does I mean is there a registration fee or the how? minute you know, when you sign when you register, when you come to the show, they ask you for your email. That's how you register with your email. And the minute that goes in, you're registered to win a door prize. So then we randomly just pick out of the computer, our, our um, you know, computer guy, which is, you know, Matt Harp, whatever they, we call him. <laughs> he, he randomly picks names. So we'll probably have 30, 30 door prizes for the two day show. Um, so people, people are always amazed at the last show um, we had, I think, 15 door prizes and no one, you know, everyone says, oh, I never win anything. Well, guess what? You could at our show. Now, when you have a typical show, uh, which is which is on the ground, how many people attend over the course of the- uh, Oh, uh, about 5,000. Wow. So you anticipate yeah. getting uh, more online or how are you gonna- uh, Well, we'll see. We're actually, we're, um, you know, of course, now with the web, with, um, you know, now not the web, what do we call it? Social media. Now, <laughs> can you tell my age? <laughs> now with social media, right. <laughs> we, um, you know, we're advertising on us uh, on social media. Uh, we have so, and that, you know, is seen um, all over the country. And at our last shows, at the October one, our, our one day event, we had people visit our website, uh, the different websites and the show from all 50 states. Wow. No, I don't think we had anyone from Hawaii. So I take that back. But we did from Alaska. So is that, can you imagine? I can imagine. And this is the first time it's been done online in any form then, right? In yeah, the yeah. So this is very, very exciting. I can imagine uh, it's gonna be quite- For us, it, I mean, it's a whole, new, a whole new experience, but it's working and it's exciting. And it's really important because you know, Vermont artists are struggling because there's no shows. We haven't had any shows. I mean, I there's been a couple, but they're small and, you know, they're always outdoors. So, you know, this is actually the fall is Vermont handcrafters or, yeah, Vermont artist showtime. So without the shows, you know, things are a little tight. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah. 
by coming to ours, it's a great way to support your friends and neighbors. That's what we call our Vermont. You know, they're our friends and neighbors. The artists are our friends and neighbors. That really sounds very exciting. And uh, I want to thank you for uh, giving us all the details here on Positively Vermont. And, well, you're uh, welcome. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, see what happens and get you back in the future. And uh, uh, but good luck with this. And, oh, thank you. Uh, and uh, it's going to be sounds really a, a very exciting event. So uh, thank you, Elizabeth. Well, and well, uh, this has been Dennis McMahon for Positively Vermont. My guest has been Elizabeth Boudreaux, uh, the director of events for the Vermont Handcrafters, talking about their forthcoming show uh, called Craft Vermont, which is going to be held online uh, Saturday and Sunday, November 21 and November 22. And you can get information uh, on their website and uh, everything uh, is available to you. So thank you again, Elizabeth. Thank you. Come and see us. We will. Thanks very much. This is Dennis McMahon, and this has been Positively Vermont. Thank you for watching.